what's going on guys it's your boy that red jelly back in the easy video and today we're gonna be taking a look at sidearms now Bungie has buffed sidearms along with the 390 rpm pulse rifles and believe it or not sidearms are meta now sidearms has never gained their rise since the beginning of destiny 2 and now they're meta i'm really surprised and i'm pretty sure you're surprised too because sidearms are now mapping from far away now I feel like this is a big change to the meta because sidearms are finally meta after so long and sidearms have basically never been meta and that's pretty much it uh there's nothing much else to say about this but drang is gonna feel really good now and we got a good roll on the drang too the role we have on drang is incandescent moving target accurized rounds and chamber compensator um the range on here isn't really that bad but we could do better on the range but that doesn't really matter because sidearms got buffed to where you can actually hit from farther away. And it's just it just feels good, honestly. Drang on controller feels really, really sticky. I'm also going to be using Forerunner in today's video. Even though it didn't get buffed, it's still one of the best sidearms in the game right now for an exotic. Uh, Forerunner basically shits on every single exotic sidearm in the game. I.e. Rat King, Traveler's Chosen, Devil's Ruin, etc. Cryostasia as well. But like, it's just, this is just the best sidearm in the game, hands down. Because the range and just the overall stats of the weapon alone, it just makes it the best sidearm in the game for an exotic. Anyways, I'm going to be pairing the double sidearms with the Eager Edge Sword of the Half, Stompies. Today, we're going to be running Shadow Shot Deadfall, the single shot tether. And here's the aspects and fragments I'm going to be using. If you're enjoying today's video, so far, come subscribe and let's get right into this it. map, bruh. I'm about to fry on this map. They really gave it to me. I got lucky this game, honestly. I didn't know they was going to give me this map either. This map is excellent for this, for this build I got. Okay, that guy's dead. Okay, we trade it. Let's go. I love sidearms. Okay, we trade it. We trade it. We trade it. Whew. I had to switch out real fast. I got him. Woo! No, there's a guy here though. <gasps> I gotta reload! Oh, let's go. No, he saved his teammate. Damn. That was a nice farm. My sidearm is better. Oh, we just got Blade Barrage. I seen that. Ah, oh, I tried to jump off. I tried to jump away. Oh, that just that just that just destroyed him. Honestly. Oh my God. I think I'm in love. I'm in love. Oh my god. I just fucking destroyed that guy. Holy shit. I don't know what he was doing there. Wait, that's not my. Oh, I'm, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, I got him. Let's go. I'm about to die though. Oh no, he got me with the rocket. Going towards A and probably pop a tether towards A.
Oh, thank you, teammate. I'm dead, but thank you, teammate. Ah, uh, 23. I'll take it, though. Still a good game on my part. All right, so with sidearms being buffed as a whole, this might become meta. Sidearms in general might become meta. And I know in the whole video, I didn't use Forerunner that much because it was Twilight Gap, but still, Drang, just Drang alone being buffed is just, it just feels amazing. Like Drang has never felt so good on controller. It, it just, it just feels really, really good to use. Honestly, the moving target combo, you can land headshots for days. You got aim assist and incandescent combo. Like basically, incandescent moving target is probably my favorite role on Drain. I don't care about Swashbuckler. I don't care about Rampage. It's just this feels really good. Drain alone feels really good, and I'll probably test out some more sidearms in the near future. But all in all, Drain and Forerunner, the combo together feels unstoppable. If you enjoyed today's video, like, comment, subscribe, and thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all guys in the next video.